G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the camera to open up and also display whatever picture is taken on the camera in an image box. So let's begin. So the very first thing I'm going to do in my case is I'm just going to delete the standard stuff that Microsoft sort of gives you on the page. I don't really need it in this case. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to search for a button. I'm going to place it within the phone region. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the toolbox I'm going to get the image box. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to press on the button, it's going to open up the camera, and then when the picture is taken from the camera, it's going to display it into the image box. So it's going to be really, really cool. Next thing I'm just going to double click on the button and I'm going to delete unwanted code. By double clicking on the button, it's going to generate the click event for button. And just let me get rid of this code here quickly. Beautiful. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import a library. So I'm going to type in using microsoft.phone.tasks. Now this is really cool. You can do so many cool things with this one piece of kit. You can send SMSs, you can open up the phone book, you can do all sorts of things that I just can't, can't explain in one video. So what I've done there quickly is I've just done camera capture task and I've just called it camera equals new camera capture task tongue twist up there and then I've just generated a completed event task and then what I'm doing down here is I've just said if e task uh, result double equals task result ok so if the user presses ok on the picture within the camera and everything there is good to go we're going to generate a new bitmap image I've just called it BMP and I had an under uh, I was missing a library so I've just imported the media image library and then I'm just doing bmp.setSource and then I'm just saying e.chosenphoto and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say image.source equals bmp so I'm able to use the e because you'll notice in the completed event I've got the photo result e there so I can use e for all sorts of cool things that it allows me to do and then of course I'm going to show the camera so I've just done camera.show now this is my phone here this is a projected uh, screen app I suppose that's special for Nokia so I can view whatever you got what I see on the phone the computer can see so there's the application there if I press on the button uh, you can see this it's a Shiba that I've been using doing the Ubuntu tutorials on with the visual code if you do want to check those out the link will be in the description and there's a video shot of that great so I've pressed OK and there we can see my Toshiba computer with my ghetto set up over there and yeah it's working beautifully in the photo box so let me press accept and there we have it. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, do subscribe for more of them, thumb the videos up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.